Learn to enjoy every minute of your life. Be happy now. Don't wait for something outside of yourself to make you happy in the future. Think how really precious is this time you have to spend. Whether it's at work or with your family, every minute should be enjoyed and savored. Our attitude towards others determines their attitude towards us. We are at our very best and we are happiest when we are fully engaged in work we enjoy on the journey towards the goal we've established for ourselves. It gives meaning to our time off and comfort to our sleep. It makes everything else in life so wonderful, so worthwhile. Don't let the fear of the time it will take to accomplish something stand in the way of your doing it. The time will pass anyway. We might just as well put that passing time to the best possible use. Whatever we plant in our subconscious mind and nourish with repetition and emotion will one day become a reality. Our environment, the world in which we live and work, is a mirror of our attitudes and expectations. All you need is the plan, the roadmap, and the courage to press on to your destination. The biggest mistakes that you can make is to believe that you are working for somebody else. Job security is gone. The driving force of a career must come from the individual. Remember, jobs are owned by the company. You own your career. People with goals succeed because they know where they're going. Your problem is to bridge the gap which exists between where you are now and the goal you intend to reach. When you judge others, you do not define them. You define yourself. Never give up on a dream just because of the time it will take to accomplish it. The time will pass anyway. Your world is a living expression of how you are using and have used your mind. We are all self-made, but only the successful will admit it. You are now, and you do become what you think about. Whenever there is danger, there lurks opportunity. Wherever there is opportunity, there lurks danger. The two are inseparable. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy goal or ideal. Each of us must live off the fruit of his own thoughts in the future. Because what you think today and tomorrow, next month, and next year, you will mold your life and determine your future. You are guided by your mind. A person who does not read is no better than one cannot read. Every one of us is the sum total of his own thoughts. If the grass is greener on the other side, it's probably getting better care. Each of us creates his or her own life largely by our attitude. You can 
control your attitude. Set it each morning. It is our attitude toward life that determines life's attitude toward us. We get back what we put out. Most people begin their day in neutral. They will simply react to whatever confronts them. Gratitude and expectancy are the best attitude. Our outlook on life is a kind of paintbrush and with it we paint our world. It can be bright and filled with hope and satisfaction or it can be dark and gloomy. The world we experience is a reflection of our attitude. Be positive, cheerful, grateful, and expectant. Always keep the happy attitude. Pretend that you are holding a beautiful, fragrant bouquet. Don't wait for change. You change. Control your thoughts. Decide about that which you will think and concentrate upon. You are in charge of your life to the degree you take charge of your thoughts. Don't catch the bad and infectious attitudes of others. Everything begins with an idea. Excellence always sells. Failures believe that their lives are shaped by circumstances, by things that happen to them, by exterior forces. Find what you do best that renders services to others and do it with all your might. Goals reflect your choice of destination. Ideas are elusive, slippery things. Best to keep a pad of paper and a pencil at your bedside so you can stab them during the night before they get away. Money is the harvest of our production and service. We, in turn, use it to obtain the production and service of others. Mistakes are a natural part of growing up. They're to be expected and made light of. But children bloom like spring flowers under praise. They want so much to be noticed and appreciated to excel and have that excellence noticed. Creativity is a natural extension of our enthusiasm. We can let circumstances rule us or we can take charge and rule our lives from within. All you have to do is know where you're going. The answers will come to you of their own accord. The big thing is that you know what you want. A great attitude does much more than turn on the lights in our worlds. It seems to magically connect us to all sorts of serendipitous opportunities that were somehow absent before the change. The more intensely we feel about an idea or a goal, the more assuredly the idea buried deep in our subconscious will direct us along the path to its fulfillment. Whenever we're afraid, it's because we do not know enough if we understood enough, we would never be afraid. Your world 
is a living expression of how you are using and have used your mind. The key that unlocks energy is desire. It is also the key to a long and interesting life. If we expect to create any drive, any real force within ourselves, we have to get excited. Don't worry. Worry brings fear, and fear is crippling. The only thing that could cause worry during this test is trying to do it all yourself. Know that all you have to do is to hold your goal before you. Everything else will take care of itself. Remember, also to keep calm and cheerful. Don't let petty things annoy you and get you off course.